Hello, welcome to MapLibre tutorial number four. In this video, I'm going to show you how to display uh, display buildings uh, in 3D with just a couple lines of code using MapLibre and uh, MapTyler. So in the last couple of videos, I already show you how to get uh, MapTyler API key and how to use base map and also uh, display uh, terrain on 3D. And in this video, we're going to just show the buildings. And uh, first, let me show you the preview. So you can go to the preview website. And uh, here, 3D buildings. Click this one. You should be able to open and explore it. So this is pretty cool. And uh, using the map uh, Tyler API, so we can actually show the buildings. This is at a global scale. And this one is uh, New York City. So you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can rotate. Uh, it's very, very nice. And I'm going to show you how to create this one very easily. You can also customize the color, um, the scale, uh, if you want to. So in order to do that, uh, come here and then you can click this notebook. And so you can run this one on Google Collab or you can download this one to your computer. And then you can um, start uh, going through the video. So I've opened this one uh, on my local computer here using uh, Jupyter Lab. So let me this one and uh, zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. And so you do need a uh, map Tyler API key so you can follow the instruction to get an API key. Once you have that, you can set it as an environment uh, variable. Let me, oh no. And uh, once do that, and you can set it the API key here. So uh, uncommon this two code block and just replace this one. Since I already set this one on my, uh, it's an environment variable on my Linux computer. So I don't actually need to do that, but you can just run this one. So you're going to re um, uh, retrieve the API key. And this is the code block we're going to run to join the, uh, the map. Let me remove the demo here and just run it you'll be able to see this one right away and it's pretty responsive so take a look um just like what i showed you earlier uh, demo uh, you can also full screen uh, see that see how far it is uh, how fast and so from here let's look into the source code as uh, briefly so this is where the vector tile coming from so this is from the using the map tiler uh, api key using the uh, vector tile uh, tile set so you do need to have an api key in here and the Critical one here is within this one, we have the 3D data layers, and this provides you a way to customize. For example, the minimum zoom basically is the minimum zoom level that you want to show the building. So for example, when you zoom out, it's going to uh, disappear because the zoom level right now is smaller than 15. So you need to be greater than 15 to be able to show the data layer. So when you zoom, zoom in, it's going to interpolate and then going to show you uh, the buildings like this. And also here, you can customize right so because the 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 building the tile has uh, the height so the render height is uh, the height you want to render so here we have 0 100 and 400 so this is where you can customize it and also you can customize the color whatever color you want for example i can change it to maybe you can use use this regular name for example red uh, green and then blue or you can use any hex color code so let's just try this one first Take a look. So now we have the buildings in different color, right? So red means um, um, lower height and green medium height and um, blue basically um, highest buildings. And everything is being rendered on the fly so we can easily customize. These are all the most, uh, uh, the lower buildings. And you can change the color. So the reason why you want to change the height is if you um, visualizing an area that don't have those high rise buildings, this is probably too much so it need to change to a smaller value but first let me show you like easier way right so this looks complicated uh, in leaf map i already simplified it a lot so what you can do here is actually just uh, this code block and let's do this first let's run it again right so right now we only show you this is the basic uh, base map using map tiler so if you want the 3d buildings or any location around the globe just write this function map .add uh, 3d buildings and that's it so let's run it then you will be able to have the 3d buildings so you can set the center the zoom level and the pitch and bearing so the pitch basically is uh, uh, up and down so this shows you the pitch from 0 to 60 and the bearing basically is the rotating so from uh, lo uh, location uh, the direction from the, from the north right so this is new york it's the default values is pretty good again you can Press uh, Shift tab on your keyboard to bring up the um, the, the documentation. So again, showing here, and 
fifth tab. So right now you'll be able to see the zoom level, for example, here 15 and the values and also color. So you can customize this color uh, to whatever you like. And let me show you. Right? So if I'm working on a smaller area, for example, I'm working maybe, let's look at uh, the city I'm in, uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. So zoom in to anywhere you like. I'm going to go to Tennessee here and zoom in all the way in. You can shift and then drag this one to zoom in. You get much faster. Okay. And let's look at this one here. So this is the University of Tennessee here uh, at this location. And if you zoom in, you will see all the buildings are pretty low. So you don't have many high rise uh, buildings in here, but you do see uh, some variations in here. So if you're working on other cities like this with not a lot of high rise buildings, you certainly want to customize this one. So what you can do here is to provide the value. So you want to customize this one right now, we only provide three, but you can provide four whatever you like. So I can just do, for example, values equal to, and then you can have a list. So for example, zero, and then maybe 10 meter, 20 meter, something like that. You certainly also need to customize, if you want to customize the color, I can do that as well. And before I'm going to execute it, I'm going to get the center. So you can just M dot center to get the map center. So this is going to show you, this is the center. So I'm going to copy this one, long is still and then replace this one so that when we, we execute the map, it's going to center around this location. Of course here, for the zoom label, if you want, you can do that as well. So I can just map dot zoom, the zoom label is 16.5, so pretty close, 16.5, and then just run it. See? So now we are centered at this location, but the map right now looks a little bit better because it's not all the gray color. So you can clearly see some differences. If you want to customize it, uh, you can, right? So I can also have 10, 5, 20. So in that way, you need to have different color. For example, I can say 5 and then 10 and 20. So if you provide four colors, then uh, four values, then the color also need to be uh, four of them. So I can say, for example, red, uh, green, okay, and then blue. And the last one, you can add another color. So for example, I can also use hex color code. So for this one, I can do maybe just uh, uh, hashtag, uh, hashtag, and then uh, F, 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 F. So this would be uh, white color. So um, RGB all 256. So it's going to be white color. So that means all the highest building will be greater than 20 meters will be white color and then a red, green, blue. So on this one again, yeah, of course, you're not going to see a lot of red color because um, it's zero. So you can set this one to a, a different number, then you want to see some red color. But you can clearly see the majority of the buildings are in green color. That means it's between uh, zero to five meters. So basically just one label and take a look. So now it looks much better. So the white color here, these are actually all the white color and um, the, the uh, low rise building, uh, high rise buildings, right? Pretty cool, right? So this is how you can easily customize the map to your uh, liking. And maybe we can also add the layer control. M layer control so that you can turn the layer on and off easily right so this one here you can turn it on and off besides that uh, right now we're only using the base map from uh, map tiler so you can also maybe add the, some base map for example satellite base map so m dot add base map and then we can do esri so uh, or imagery run it so now you can, um, it's a little bit better. Sometimes if you need to verify, for example, uh, the buildings, then you can turn the buildings on and off. So you can see, uh, because the imagery, this is not a uh, very high resolution. So you certainly see, but it aligns pretty well. So it's differences between 2D and 3D. So you're welcome to explore at any location and then uh, turn the layer on and off. So turn this off, you can go to any location have this going up so again let me go back to new city here again and we can hear the differences it'll be easy to use the shift uh, hold the shift key, uh, key on your keyboard and just drag so it zooming and zoom out so this is the new city again boom. right now you see all the buildings are in white color because they are all higher than 20 meters and again, we can turn on the imagery in here. Now, really, 
buildings and this is all the high-rise buildings so because it's not also rectified so you're going to see oblique and also you have all kind of shadows uh, really normal because look now from like this this is where all the buildings look like when you write the, get the imagery and see nice pretty well not 100 percent but uh, it's pretty good so you're welcome to explore this um at any location around the globe and you'll be able to see the imagery see the buildings pretty cool and essentially what you need is one two three four five you don't need the layer control you don't need the base plan all you need is this line three lines of code then you can display buildings in 3d or any location on the globe you can change the height uh, you can change the color to what you're liking and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you in the next one take care bye bye